So I'm going to write down a number. And I'm going to think about how much do each of these digits of the number, what value do they represent? And actually, let me pick on this 2 here. What does that 2 represent? Does it just represent 2, or does it represent something different than just 2? Pause the video and think about that. All right, now let's think about it together. And actually, I'm going to start with the 7 here. The 7 is in the 1's place. So this 7 represents 7 1's, which is, of course, still just 7. So nothing too surprising there. Then we could go to the 10's place. So this 1 doesn't just represent 1. It represents 1 10. Or another way to think about it, it represents 10. And then this 2, it is in the 100's place. So it doesn't just represent 2. It represents 2 hundreds. You could write it that way. Or it represents the value 200. So the number here is 217. The 2 represents 200's or 200. Now let me give you a slightly different question. I'm going to write down three numbers. So we have this number. And I'm intentionally not saying it out loud. That number. I have this number. And I have this number. And what I want you to do is pause the video and tell me in which of these three numbers does the 7 represent 70? Pause the video and think about that. All right, now let's work through this together. So let's start with this top number. This In this number, the 7 is in the 1's place. So that 7 really just represents 7 1's, which is still just 7. So this 7 does not represent 70. Now in this next number, the 2 is in the 1's place. And we see that the 7 is in the 10's place. So this actually represents 7 10's. Well, 7 10's is the same thing as 70. So it's actually in this second situation where the 7 does represent 70. This number is 572. The 7 represents 70. And let's just check this last number here. Well, here the 7 is not in the 1's place, not in the 10's place. It is in the 100's place. So this represents 7 hundreds or 700. And that makes sense. This number here is 705. 